This video clip will show you how the message board application should work. Uh, basically, you're going to have a, a master page that will contain a, a header, div block, a uh, div block for a menu control, a div block for uh, the content, and a div block for the footer. Um, and what's going to happen, this is the default page. When you first load the default page, it's going to use a query to bring back um, the handle of the person that um, sent the message along with their message and the date of the message right and their avatar their image of the message notice when you first come into the page that the text box is grayed out and the or disabled as, as well as the post button to enable that you have to log in you click on the login link up here in the head section of the master file and you can get the login page to log in <clears throat> but first we will create an account and then log in so let's create an account first You'll have to put validation checks in here. So if I just click on create account, you'll see some of the errors. Everything's required, right? The passwords must match. Pin number must be numeric and must be between 1000 and 2000 inclusive. Birth date must be a valid date. All right. Um, avatar is not required actually, but um, you want to put one in when you, when you uh, test it out. Uh, email address, there's no check for email address to make sure it's a valid email address however it is required so let's just go ahead and put this and put something in here so we'll just say um, you know um, Tim I don't know let's just see Tim Jones try Tim Jones and we'll just say Tim at AOL.com let's do gmail right gmail.com and then password is going to be and I'm going to show you the password here um, you should probably change it to, uh, you might want to change it to text mode password, but so I'm going to put these in that they don't match and you can see the error message you get, they must match, right? Pin number is required. If I put in AAA, it's going to say that it must be a valid pin number in between 1000 and 2000, right? Birth date must be a valid date, right? So, uh, put that in, it'll tell you it needs to be a valid date. All right, so let's just try this again. So we'll do AB, ABC. We'll do the handle. We'll just say Tim, uh, Tim J. And the PIN number, we'll just say, is going to be you know, 1999. Birth date is uh, 111 90, or 90. Let's just say that. Choose file. You'll be given a list of files that you can use. Let's choose Mr. Incredible here as the avatar. All right, so it'll bring it in. And then you should be able to create the account. All right, and you should see a message that the account was created. Notice there was a label here that the uh, that now holds the file name. So if I go to login, right, it was Tim at Gmail, and it was ABC was the password. So I'll just copy that and go to login. So Tim, right, and ABC is the password in this case. I'll log in, and it should say that I'm logged in up here in the uh, in the header div block and now I have the log off link displayed right it gives me my first name last name and my handle right that I'm going to use to post messages note also notice since I'm logged in the text box is now active and the post button is now active or enabled as well right uh, and this is a grid view and you have I think we'll have eight rows a limit of eight rows in the grid view they'll be paging after eight rows you'll go to another page all right, so we'll just put in here, um, you know, my favorite quote, the Ravens, All right? And then I'll just click post, All right? And so it come in, it should come in here and put my image in because when I created the account, the image was also was uploaded to the server, right? My message and the date that I put it in here, right? And now you can see that uh, I have more than uh, the max allowed. I think it's eight, and then you'll have to do the paging right All right so that's kind of how that works if, if I click log off right it should take me to the login screen there is one glitch if you if you if you're on account and you click login you're gonna get the error messages so don't worry about that for right now okay uh, and then home of course shows you the all the messages right here so that's basically how it should work this is an ad rotator control so you'll be displaying your banner ads here um, and I think that's pretty much uh, in a nutshell, this is a grid view. 
you'll need to use some session variables to keep track if the user is logged in or not. All right, so taking a look at the database real quick just to see how that's laid out. Um, we have our message board database here. And let's take a look at the design. So the account table should look like this. So you have account ID, first name, last name, email address, password, photo, right, handle, PIN number, and birth date. These are the fields I used for messages. Design view for that would be the message ID, the message, the account ID, and of the user entering the message in the timestamp. One uh, caveat here for email address, I have no duplicates. So if you put in, in your testing, if you put in a duplicate email address, it won't work. You'll get an error if you do this. And this is probably what you want to do. You don't want duplicate uh, email addresses in there. The account ID is a primary key in the account table. And message ID is the primary, uh, primary key in the messages table. There's a query that when you run the query, well, it's locked. You know, it close out the, the tables. And then you can run the query. You'll see the query basically just brings in the handle. Right, so we have the handle uh, from the account table along with the messages, brings it in together. Right, so you'll need to create that or make sure that's there. All right, so that's the database, and then if you take a look at the uh, the file structure here for the actual web, you'll see that I have a folder for avatars. Right, and um, I'll go back a little bit, and then my banners. Right, that you'll be given, and of course all your files. Right, account file. XML file for the ad rotators. You have your default file, your login page, your master file, the solution file, the styles, and web config. So basically, that's what it's going to look like um, when you're finished. Okay.